So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get onto EdgeShed. So what you want to do is want to go on Google and search EdgeShed. I have searched it, but I'm going to annotate it for you guys because some people don't know the spelling of EdgeShed. So now let me just rub that off because it's going to stay on my screen. So you want, there are loads of options to click on, but you want to click the first one, which is just normal EdgeShed. Let's click it now. So there are loads of options to click from, but since this video is about EdgeShed, I'm going to be clicking on EdgeShed. And here you have to sign in. So let me just sign in because it is my account. As you can see, that's me. <laughs> yes, yeah, very nice. So I'm almost finished logging in. Yeah, I logged in. And then there's the the home page you want to click never if you're on a sharing chromebook or something hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys feeling today have you had a nice day i hope you did because today you are watching joyful akshaya uk and i can't tell you I'm going to tell you now the reason of this video. It's actually a reason that I really wanted to tell you. I did one about TT Rockstars, so I'm going to do one about EdShed today. And you guys are watching it. So the reason is because some people don't know about EdShed. Why? Because no one has posted a video about it. So I'm going to post a video about it. And that is the purpose of this amazing video. Now, there are many differences between other games and EdgeShed. What are the reasons? I can't explain all of them, but there are many, 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 many. Also, I first am going to tell you what you can do on EdgeShed. On EdgeShed, you can practice spelling words that are important. There are different certain, like, there are different and certain things you have to click on to practice certain words. Or you can't just click a random button and then imagine you wanted to practice the word beautiful. You, don't, you can't click a button and then it's like, Beautiful. What is the spelling for beautiful? You have to go on a certain one, which gives you a certain word. Now, I'm going to tell you about the different types on EdgeShed you can practice on. Some people don't know this, but there are many, many differences. The first one, let me list them. All of them will be in the right-hand right corner over here. What are the types? So the first type is easy. Easy is very easy, but also a bit confusing because you have to click the enter button to start the word. It also tells you the answer at the front, which is really helpful if you don't know the word. But also, it is a really good game because it only has the the letters that are contained in the word so it does it's not too muddled up muddled up for you so that's what i think is really good about easy next one is medium it will be right here medium is only a little bit different the thing that the letters the letters contain the same, the, the letters are only there. That is the same, but you don't have to click OK. It, it says the words nice and clear, and you have to type it as fast as you can, because there's a timer running up in, above you in the yellow line. Did you know why it goes, like, um, in a yellow line? to 
just a blank line? Well, that's the timer. If you guys didn't know that, now you know. So let's go get practicing after you've watched this video. The third level is hard. Hard is also a good one for you to practice on because it's like the same as medium, but just a little tinsy wincy bit harder. So let, and it shall be in the corner right here. The fourth one, extreme. Extreme will be right here in the corner. And I'll also show you where to click if you want to do this. Right here, as I said. And extreme, it does not follow the same rules. At all. No, no, no. So, there are, there's a whole keyboard, you know, but just not the numbers. There's the whole keyboard that's mixed up, and you ha it also says the words nice and loud, so you can hear it and type it as fast as you can. So, that is extreme. The other thing is, it's not the types, it's the avatar. If you click on main page, then there's there's a shape in the corner here, and that that holds your avatar. So you can create a different form of yourself, like you do in TT Rockstars. But there is there there are subtitles that contain them. You can make beautiful elegant avatars with those there are there are face hair eyes backgrounds um accessories and loads more so the duration the duration time you can't really estimate that but the duration time is that everyone should play why? Because it's such a great game, such a great game that humanity has created. What is the achievement and the goal that leads you? So the thing is, it gives you points that you get and also honey pots. Honey pots are the most important thing if you love to make your avatars. I like to, so I like to play games on them. Those are the spelling words. And honeypots are listed in the corner um, in shop like this and it contains how many honeypots you have and you have to buy them with honeypots. I've got a tiger avatar and it's really cool. I really like it. Also guys, you you can have amazing avatars. I know you can. So guys, that is the that is what Edge Shed Quinte.